HDMI is the most common modern display connection format that offers a plug and play experience. Yet sometimes when you connect an HDMI display to your Windows computer, nothing happens. So if your HDMI ports are not working in Windows, you've come to the right place. Here are several things you can try to fix the problem. Temporarily use another output type. Your graphics card probably has other display output types. If your graphics card and TV both have a common port type available other than HDMI, you might want to give that a try. This could be a permanent solution. For example, DisplayPort is a superior option to HDMI, or it could just be a temporary measure until you've resolved the problem. But what if your display only has an HDMI input? You could try using an adapter. DVI, VGA, and DisplayPort to HDMI adapters are relatively inexpensive and easy to find for most people. Inspect the cable and ports for damage. Before trying anything else, check both the HDMI port on your computer and the one on the display for damage, such as corrosion or a plug that sits loosely in the port. Check the cable to ensure that it's not frayed or that the connectors aren't deformed, corroded, or partially detached from the cable. If you see any kind of damage, replace or repair the components if possible. Try swapping stuff out. To troubleshoot your HDMI port not working, Mix and match components in your connection network with other devices to see if the issue is with the display, the computer, or the cable itself. This test might quickly determine which component is at fault. Choose the right HDMI port on your PC. Many desktop computers have integrated graphics available through an HDMI port on the motherboard itself. If you have a discrete GPU installed, make sure you plug the HDMI cable into the card and not into the HDMI port on the motherboard. This is an example of a motherboard connection. Choose the right HDMI port on your PC. Many desktop computers have integrated graphics available through an HDMI port on the motherboard itself. If you have a discrete GPU installed, make sure to plug the HDMI cable into the card and not into the HDMI port on the motherboard. A discrete GPU will have connectors on the card itself, accessible through the tall rear slots on the back of your computer. Some computers allow you to run both integrated and discrete cards simultaneously or to switch between them as needed. These options will be in your BIOS or UEFI menu. Consult your motherboard manual for specific instructions on how to change these settings since they differ from one motherboard brand to the next. Reboot with the cable connected. Try rebooting the computer with the HDMI cable and display connected. While HDMI should work as soon as you plug it in, sometimes Windows may fail to recognize it. Booting up with everything plugged into place usually ensures the display is detected. Select the correct HDMI input. Most screens have more than one HDMI input. Double check that you've set the display to use the HDMI input you've plugged into. You'll have to check the manual for your screen to see how it's done, but it's usually just a setting in the menu. Select the correct multi-monitor mode in Windows. If you're running a dual monitor setup and using the HDMI screen as a second display, you'll have to ensure that Windows uses the correct dual monitor mode. You have four options. Use only one screen, use only the second screen, extend the desktop over both screens, or mirror the same desktop on both screens. Hold the Windows key and the letter P to quickly switch between modes. You can then use the mouse pointer to select your preferred mode. If you can't see anything on any of the screens, you can always hold the Windows key and tap P repeatedly to cycle through the different modes, using Enter to confirm your selection. For some more advanced troubleshooting tips, Check out the article linked below. See you next time.